Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a Killstar oversized hoodie haul. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful, but before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload, and welcome. So, I bought some of Killstar's oversized hoodies in October. October, God, oh, was it really that long ago now? When they had, it was buy one, get one half price on the oversized hoodies, and it was such a good deal. And I'd had two that had been sat in my basket for quite a while that I really wanted, and they were niggling at me. And then as soon as they had that sale, I, I just had to go and buy them. So the first one is the Transylvanian Vamp hoodie. It is this one here. So let's get down to the details. It is an oversized hood. It has detachable vegan leather straps with pentagram hardware here. Um, it is, now this is bizarre material, okay? It feels like normal sort of hoodie material, but according to their website, it is 44% TR, which apparently means Terry Rayon, 36% TC, which apparently means Tetoron Cotton, 17% polyester and 3% elastane. Yeah, I know. I mean, why couldn't they just say jersey? You know? <laughs> I mean, I suppose at least they're giving you as much information as possible, but I've never even heard of half of those fabrics before. So I'm afraid I can't really comment as to what they are. I did quite a bit of Googling and basically they seem to be synthetic versions of natural fabrics or some sort of synthetic natural fabric hybrid. I'm not really sure. Comment down below if you know any more about what these fabrics are, etc. I would love to know because the the Google hole that I went down, I was just like, I don't need to have this much information to make this video. <laughs> uh, it also features a handkerchief hem and a big statement silver zip. So I am a UK 810, very much solidly a 10 at the moment with the uh, post Christmas and lockdown um, cookie weight gain. <laughs> so. <laughs> I normally wear a small inner kill star, I have to admit, at the moment, possibly would be pushing a medium. That's one of the reasons why I haven't bought anything that's tight recently from Killstar. I had heard that this comes up big, and so I ordered an extra small. I was slightly worried about ordering the extra small. I shouldn't have been worried about ordering the extra small. It is massive. There is no way that this it could ever be considered form-fitting on me but oh boy, is it comfortable. It's, I mean, the hood on it is ginormous. It's so snugly warm. It, it just envelops you in its warmth. The sleeves are lovely and long. They have nice cuffs. No thumb holes on this one, I'm afraid. It's a shame, I think, if they'd have put thumb holes in, it probably would have been the icing on the cake. But, you know, I'm okay with that. It's got all these vegan leather strap details. So it says detachable strap, so they are detachable from here. So this portion of the strap is not detachable. Uh, it's got vegan leather details on the pockets, which I really like the fact that it's got this vegan leather detail. And also these D-rings and they're sort of rounded studs, which again, I really like. So these straps then go under the arms and all the way around to the back and they attach here at the back. They are beautifully soft vegan leather. I must admit, it, I am thoroughly impressed by the vegan leather. So this comes off with just a popper here. So it's a popper there. And on the front, they come off with those sort of statements. They're like a, it's like a snap. You know, it's like one of these, I can't, I don't know what these are called, but it's, yeah, one of these type closures. Um, it's a bit like a carabiner, I suppose, is the most similar thing that I can think of. I love this hoodie. It is warm, it is snuggly. Because of the oversizedness, you can pretty much wear it over the top of anything. If I am having a frumpy day and I feel uncomfortable in my body or bloated or whatever, I put this on, I feel a million dollars. It's beautiful. It doesn't give you the illusion of being slim because it's massively oversized but the line of it is beautiful. It's very tapered and fluted. So it is really beautiful. Now I am five foot three, uh, 160 centimeters. This is damn long on me. This almost touches the floor on me. There's certainly the, 
the pointiest bits on the hem but not quite we've been on some seriously muddy walks and I've got back and there's not been it's not like dragged through any mud or anything like that so I really really like this it looks really great with anything with a handkerchief hem it looks amazing with one of my I've got an exo umbra dress it looks fantastic with that it looks fantastic with this punk rave cardigan thing because this has got a handkerchief hem on it I just really like that it's very different so I've got my necessary evil full length hoodie which has got a high low hem on it that is much more structured and fitted so that is what I would call it's a bit more dressy in some way because of the, the form fittingness of it and the tailoredness of the shape this is definitely more casual in its shape it's also I think just a bit more casual in that you know it's got these bondage straps and that kind of thing but oh boy is it cool the pockets are nice and deep so you can shove your mask in there and then forget about it <laughs> and wonder where all your masks are um, I just absolutely love it I am thoroughly impressed with this as you can see from the try on it's just so flipping cool you know really really impressed it's just a great hooded top I am really really glad that I've bought it. it all the teachers when I drop the kids at school when I go in from when I have to go to work and I wear this to the school gates are all like oh I bet you're glad you wore that lovely warm you know jacket I love it love it love it that is the Transylvania vamp hoodie so the next items that I have to show you well I got one and I also got a heavy metal hubby one. So I better get him to come and help me do finish this review. So come on, heavy metal hubby. Will you stop doing that? <laughs> <sighs> All right then, fine. Oh, I don't know, he does moan, doesn't he? <laughs> right, I better get him back, ready? ready? <laughs> heavy metal hubby's here. Now the reason that I got a heavy metal hubby here is because I bought the Assassin's hoodie in that same deal, the Assassin's hooded cardigan, and I bought one for myself, and then I was showing Heavy Metal Hubby the pictures, and I was like, yeah, I got these, you know, I probably shouldn't have done, but I got these, and, and he was like, oh, that's really cool, I really want one. And, uh, and then I had a look on Kate's clothing, and they had a deal to match Kill Stars the next day, so I got him one. <laughs> and actually, I ordered his, like, what, 36 hours later? His came three de no, a week before mine. A week, a week, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was quite jealous. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I bought mine in an extra small because I had heard again that it comes up pretty big. So I ordered mine in an extra small and I ordered, after doing quite a lot of asking on the Killstar Addicts Anonymous group, I ordered Heaven What Hubby his in an extra large. Uh, and I think that was the right thing to do. I yeah. think if we'd have ordered the large, it would have still fitted him fine, but he likes the oversizedness. I must admit, I did panic slightly when I tried his on, which obviously it was massive on me, but I was like, I really like it being really oversized. And then I had a, a sudden panic attack of, oh God, what if mine, I should have bought a small so that it was nice and oversized. Turns out I needn't have worried. The extra small is still ginormous on me. <laughs> she knows. She knows you're here filming. Whenever Heavy My Hubby films, she's she wants to know what's going on. She's not interested when I'm filming. <laughs> Just when you're filming. Right. Bigger so, lap, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well and she knows I'm not gonna let her sit on my lap when I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> you meanie. I am an evil mummy. Right, so this is the Assassin's hoodie. So it has a draping open front and I didn't really know what that meant. It's basically got a giant built-in scarf on it. So it's got two disconnected pieces that come from the oversized hood uh, down the front, which you can then toss over your shoulder uh, with abandon. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> But that is a good thing because it doesn't have any kind of zip. It is just open. Uh, it has uneven hems. It has D-ring details. Now the D-ring detail is really weird because what, there's one on one shoulder but not on the other. Right, I'm just going to show on mine because mine's slightly smaller, so slightly less. So we've got one here on this shoulder with this cotton strap, which when I went on the Kill Star Addicts Anonymous group on Facebook and asked, why it just seems to be a detail I wasn't sure if there was some clever thing that you could do with it but I think it's just a detail there is also one on each sleeve here on like I suppose it's like the 
the bicep area and then there's another one down here with more bits of cotton it's like a shoelace almost on it um which comes from the bottom of the pocket i don't know why if anybody knows why if anybody knows if there's some secret trick you can do with them please comment down below i would love to know but according to all the people who commented on the post on killstradix anonymous group it's just for fun so <laughs> for obviously funsies. if you want to join the killstradix anonymous group it's down in the description box there's a link there we would love to have you there there's also alternative fashion addicts anonymous group there's necessary evil clothing cult there's the punk rave group there's so many groups so many groups all the links are down there come join us we love to talk fashion so it is again another jersey material this is an odd one again it's not quite as odd as the, the last one this is 67 percent polyester 15 percent rayon 13 percent cotton 5 percent elastane so none of those weird terry rayon top tetron cotton stuff <laughs> that, than the last one <laughs> to be honest they feel very similar if anything this one feels ever so slightly thinner than the transylvanian vamp hoodie but they are both super duper warm i mean it almost feels fleecy doesn't it on the it's, inside it's got a real fleecy I mean, you, it, I've yeah. been going out with this freezing cold weather in the UK at the, um, recently and not had a coat on over the top of this because I can't really get a coat on over the top of it because it's quite a, you know, it's quite a big oversized hoodie and I've not been cold. Well, there's been a couple of times where I've been cold, but it's more been like I should have worn more tights or I should have worn thicker trousers yeah, rather than like the coat, four, rather so. than this being cold. It's more I should have worn other clothes that were warmer as well rather than just relying on this. Uh, again this has pockets although this one the detailing is just like it's like a it's like a woven cotton material again it's kind of like canvas reminds me of those those canvas bags from back in the 90s that everybody used to paint on with tipex tin minchin song on my head now uh, <laughs> yeah. oh actually no that canvas details only on one pocket it's only on the right hand pocket it's not on the left hand pocket on the left hand pocket it's just doubled up uh, the, the material that the, the hoodie's made out of. That's really interesting. I've not noticed that at all. Gosh, she is really quite affectionate, yeah. isn't she? I hadn't really noticed that at all. And of course, it has thumb holes. Y you know, we all love a thumb hole. I don't know anybody that doesn't love a thumb hole. Who doesn't love a thumb hole? They are generous thumb holes as well. There's no like, oh God, the sleeve's not long enough. They are snuggly. It just adds to the... I want to wrap myself up in this and live in it forever yep. <laughs> of this of this hoodie it's, it's very much a thing you can kind of curl it and hide and in you can and, cocoon yeah, in it can't cocoon, you that's a yeah, good word yeah, for it yeah cocoon. yeah i mean i must admit i'm glad that i bought this and the transylvanian vamp hoodie because it means basically then i can have one in the wash and i can be wearing the other one because otherwise it would never get washed because <laughs> i wouldn't want to give it up to put it Not in the wash year, yeah, no yeah. <laughs> i th again i mean these are so cool we look I mean, we look hilarious when we go out together in them, don't we? Because we're both matching and sometimes we both, you know, we do like to have matching face masks. So a lot of the time we've both got matching face masks on as well. We're so we not, are you know, that couple. We are, we are that couple. We are that couple. <laughs> you know? yeah. But I kind of find that hilarious that we're, that we're that couple in matching hoodies. They are badass though, haven't they? We've got so many comments yeah, about yeah. them when we've been wearing them. People have been like, oh my God, that thing's amazing. You look like a ninja. And we're like, I Especially with the, with the hood up and a mask yeah, on. It's, yeah, yeah, I mean, you yeah. really look like a ninja. And I mean, that's why they've called it the Assassin's Hood, isn't it? Because you look like a ninja assassin. So. Or Assassin's Creed. I yes. Think, perhaps it might yeah, there is a bit yeah, of yeah. yeah Assassin's Creed in there too. Yeah. I mean, it is absolutely... If you said I could only ever pick one Killstar item that I was ever allowed to keep and I had to give all the rest up, I think this would be a contender this would be a serious contender for that spot it's it i i don't i think i'd be like i'm not i can't choose you know <laughs> i'm sorry i can't choose i i, I love so top, many of I think my it'd be top three for me yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's so comfortable it's so so versatile as well mm. i really wanted something that i could wear with a lot of my more sort of um apocalypse style punk rave stuff that i've got because everything that i had prior to these was quite tailored and quite um smart looking and i wanted something that was a bit more apocalypsey and i also wanted yeah. something that the shape of it lent itself to pretty much anything because some of my items you're like well that shape doesn't work with that thing because that's tailored like this and it doesn't this is great because you can chuck it on 
Well, it goes over yeah, everything. It? And it looks amazing. It really is incredibly versatile. I mean, the Transylvanian Vamp hoodie is very versatile, but I have put, occasionally put it on with stuff and gone like, it just doesn't quite work. I think because of the bondage straps, it immediately sort of pulls it one way. So then if I'm looking very, you know, what I would call my like middle class mumsy goth, you know, it uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. It's, posh goth. Yeah, <laughs> posh goth, yeah. <laughs> This is just it. Oh, it just goes with everything, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It really looks great with a lot of my, as I said, sort of apocalypsey punk ravey stuff. Mm. It looks great with all my XO Umbra stuff again because it's got that sort of disconnected hem type thing, so it yeah. works. And I think where it's got sort of a disconnected hem that it, it's up and down in the hem. There's no, it's not straight at all. It means you can wear it with things that have got lots of different heights and lengths and it always works. It's such a well-designed piece. There's no wonder this thing sells out and then they restock it again and again and again. So the Transylvanian Vamp on Killstar's website, there is, I think it sold out in one of the sizes. I can't remember which one when I was looking it up, but this is sold out in the majority of the sizes, but they definitely have an email me when back in stock on the sizes that are sold out and they will definitely restock it. I think it's one of their most popular items. So get yourself on the email list if your size isn't in, but also Kate's Clothing have it. So check out Kate's Clothing, Phantasmagoria have it, check out them as well. There's lots of different websites that you can get it from, not just Killstar themselves. And I would definitely recommend Kate's Clothing because, well, it came a week sooner <laughs> than when I ordered yep. it from Killstar. And of course, if you order it from Kate's Clothing, you can use the code METALFEB15 to get a 15% discount. I will, of course, put the code up here, probably right in front of Heavy Metal Hubby's face. Lucky him. Uh, and down in the description box, I'll also stick it at the end of the video so that you can see it there. But yes, we absolutely love these. We look yeah. ridiculous and badass at the same time yeah. when we both wear them <laughs> together. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've, I've... we are unashamed to have matchy matchy outfits. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, I I found the thing I was slightly nervous about was that the because it hasn't got a zip, um, and yeah. it's just got the 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 scarf thing. Um, I was like, well, is it gonna? But actually, it. When you throw the scarf around, it kind of it just seals up quite nicely. Yeah, because it, it, it sort of pulls one side across and then you flip the yeah. other side. It kind of makes a, a yeah. It, it's like closing the curtains I don't know, properly. It's like magic. It works. Yeah, but yeah. I, if it was incredibly windy, I think perhaps, and it was blowing at you, it could perhaps well, force I thought it that, open. But you just put your hands in the pockets. Yeah, yeah. You don't have a handbag though. If I'm holding my handbag, I can't put both hands in my pockets. No, I haven't tried it with a handbag, in no, fairness. No, But, um, yeah, but, I can but do you know what? It's big enough that you could just put your handbag on underneath it, unless you've got mm -hmm. a big handbag. I must admit, my newest handbag, that scarlet, the yeah, scarlet something I think push it a bit handbag, that, but, yeah. that would be too big. But any of my smaller than that handbags, anything that tucks under your arm, anything a bit smaller than that, little backpack, you could just literally stick it on over the top. Mm. Although backpack, you don't need to worry about it. It's backpack, isn't it? You wouldn't need to. Yeah, it'd be fine. But, but yeah. 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 You know, and then you can just chuck your butt hands in the pockets. Again, massively generous pockets, aren't they? Mm, you know, I can yeah. easily get, I can't get my wallet in there, but I can easily get my phone in and a mask and my keys because a lot of the time I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Because my keys are in this pocket. And then it's like, no, they're all in the one pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've spent 10 minutes looking for my keys. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So yes, that is the Assassin's Hooded Cardigan. I honestly cannot recommend it highly enough. Absolutely. Yep. If you like big, oversized, snuggly, can yeah. hide away and from the world. Who doesn't hoodies. love that? Yeah. Who doesn't love that? Yeah. You know, I love my tailored stuff, but I still flipping love this because it looks it looks fantastic with the tailored stuff. It just, oh, uh, yeah. And fantastic it, piece and it works as well i mean you know obviously i'm a more sort of uh, sort of uh, 90s bloke. metaler type because yeah. that's just <laughs> yeah, yeah. a fashion i stuck on but yeah. Yeah. even even then it still works it's just as valid it just it, it, yeah. it looks just as good it you know a dress or a pair of jeans it still it still works it's, yeah. yeah it's a really good piece yeah we absolutely absolutely both of us cannot recommend it so i of course got this in an extra small Heavy Metal Hubby here got it in an extra large. He yeah. always takes an extra large from Killstar. I think, well, trousers Main, sometimes you don't, but... Uh, mainly because of the length. 
Yeah, where he's six foot five, he needs the length. Yeah, but but yeah. you could have got fit. you could have got a large easily. Could have got a large, yeah, and it yeah. would have been fine. I think it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, but I think you know, it's always nice to have that extra snuggle room, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but I think I don't I don't think it matter what size you are really. I don't think it would be. No, I tried quite. his extra large on, and I was like, well, it's big, you know, and you can see it's a bit too big for me because like the seam on the shoulders was down about here. But it didn't look stupid, did it? No, no, you know, not at all. so not at all. if in doubt, size up. <laughs> you know? but then size down because it's so massive so it doesn't really matter i'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> sage advice there yeah yeah <laughs> if you're an extra large don't order the extra small is probably <laughs> yeah i'd said yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, know yeah. You, you might find it's a little tight but other than that you know just pick pick a size yeah. you'll be fine yeah. <laughs> well it's the kind of garment that it you know it, yeah it kind it's of a relaxed work either way, fit, it? yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I hope you enjoyed this little quick review of a couple of Killstar's hooded items. Uh, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that came up in the video. If you have any questions about the items, I'm hoping we've covered everything, but you know, there's always that one thing I completely forgot about. So please feel free to ask us in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you to all of you that already do and hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay, stay heavy. heavy.